Uh, hello everyone, Jose here, welcome back. So for today, we're gonna show you how to deploy Angular on Heroku. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to create an Angular application. So let's call it maybe Angular on Heroku. So let's do that. So we're going to use the ng command to generate the application. So it's be ng new, and we'll call it um, Angular on Heroku. Uh, so it's asking us if we want to uh, add a routing. So let's just say yes. It's also asking us if we want to use CSS. Say yes. All right, so that's going to take a, a couple of minutes. So let it uh, go through its cycle. All right, so it looks like it's uh, successfully done. So let's go into the application. Let's make sure that uh, it's uh, working. So let's go in there. Uh, we called it Angular. Once we're at the root of the application, we can run it by saying ng serve. Uh, so this is going to start the Node.js that is hosting our Angular application. And once it's uh, done, we can point our browser to 4200 where it's being hosted on the local machine. Uh, there we see, now it's uh, done compiling. We can now go head over to our browser. So here we are at uh, Google, and let's uh, point uh, our browser to localhost 4200. So localhost, and then 4200. Right, so this is the default application that Angular installs for us, where we can then customize it for our own purposes. All right, so let's focus now on how to deploy this on Heroku. So I have a cheat sheet over here uh, for slides. Uh, so I have here a cheat sheet with uh, slides that you can follow along uh, to, so that you can uh, know how you do it uh, on your own. So I'm gonna link the uh, this slides on the comments. Uh, so make sure to look down below and, and you can uh, follow along on your own. So the first thing is that uh, we, we have already done this. We already created an application. Uh, we are already running it. Uh, so the first thing is that we're going to push the um, the application to a Git repository. So let's head over to the application and make sure that we have Git configured. So I'm going to create a new tab where we can do uh, the work. So here's a new tab. Let's make sure that we are in the right directory. There we go. So uh, in here, uh, let's see if we have a Git repository. So we have a Git repository here. Let's make sure that all our source code is in the repository. Let's do a Git status. Okay, so it looks like everything has been already committed to this repository. So let's uh, create a repository on GitHub so that we can push this uh, to a, a shared repository. So let's head over to GitHub. So the repository that I have is in github.com. So I'm gonna cl click on new to create the repository and I'm gonna call it Angular on Heroku. That's available. Yeah. So it's already committed everything. So we can just um, add the remote origin. And we can now uh, push our repository. Push. Uh, so there we have the source code being copied to the Git repository. We can head over there and we can refresh. And we see that the source code is already there. So we need to tweak a couple of things to make sure that this is deployable on Heroku. So back on the, uh, the, the slides, let's see the next steps. The next steps is that uh, we're gonna head over to Heroku and create a new application that we can then uh, deploy this to. So let's uh, head over to Heroku. So once we are in Heroku, we can, in our dashboard, we can say that we wanna create a brand new application. So let's say create new application. Uh, we'll call it say uh, Angular, so the same name, Angular on Heroku. Uh, looks like I've uh, already have used that that ID. So let's see, uh, Angular and Heroku 2, how's that? Create the application. All right, so now it's, um, it's created. Uh, we're going to follow the instructions here. Once we have uh, created the application, we're going to uh, configure the Heroku application to go and fetch all the source code from GitHub. So let's do that. So on Heroku, you click on uh, GitHub, 
uh, it, I'm already connected to, to uh, Heroku through my GitHub repository, and the repository is called Angular on Heroku. We're going to search. We found it. We say connect. We can establish, configure this to automatically deploy every time we push to our GitHub repository. And if we click on deploy the branch, um, it's going to fail because the uh, the Angular application has not yet been configured to successfully deploy in Heroku. Uh, so if we wait a, a little bit, right, this is just going to fail after a while. So let it run its course. Let's head over to the uh, the cheat sheet and continue the steps. So we already connected it. All right, we've deployed it. All right, so let's make sure that we have the very latest uh, Angular client uh, command line interface uh, installed in our machine. So I'm just going to copy this. This is supposed to be one line, so I'll copy one line at a time. So copy that, throw it to the terminal. Again, always from the root directory of where application is installed. So I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna head over again, and I'm gonna copy the rest. I'm gonna paste there. I'm gonna, so this is gonna install the latest command line interface for Angular, so let's let it uh, go through its, uh, its process. All right, so it's done installing the the Angular command line interface. Let's uh, keep going to the next step. So the next step is to make sure that um, we have the uh, latest Angular command line interface reference inside of our uh, package JSON. So let's open up our application with our uh, favorite IDE. I'm going to use IntelliJ, but you can use whatever you want. It could be just a text editor as well. So let me open up IntelliJ. So here's our, our IntelliJ instance. Let's um, open up the project we just created with uh, the Angular command line interface. We'll say open, and it's under Genunzi, under web dev, uh, and under there is the Angular on Heroku. We'll say open. Uh, now that it's open, we can open up the uh, package JSON file. There it is. And let's make sure that we have the Angular CLI uh, reference here. There we have the Angular CLI 910, Compiler CLI 907. Let's make, a, let's make sure that uh, we have uh, we have that, and we do have them. Uh, so the, the steps that we need to follow is that we're going to copy the uh, existing Angular CLI and Compiler CLI that it's already in the dev dependencies. We're going to copy them over to the dependencies. So we have them here on the dev dependencies. So let's, let's copy the CLI and Compiler CLI. So these two, I'm just going to copy these two lines, and we're going to copy them into the dependencies. So let's, we can paste them in there. Very good. Let's, let's uh, go on to the next step. Uh, the next step is to add this uh, script reference uh, in the scripts section of our package JSON. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to head over to my scripts. I'm going to just paste it maybe here. There it is. Uh, the next step is that uh, we need to uh, tell Heroku when we deploy it what uh, what node uh, version to use. 12.4 and, uh, and NPM 6.9 is just fine. Those are my versions. Make sure that uh, these are the versions that you use or, or use the versions that are relevant to you. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go to my package JSON. And you can paste that anywhere in the root uh, of the JSON file. We also need to make sure we have the correct TypeScript referenced, right? So we, it's already in the dev dependencies. We're going to copy them from the dev dependencies into the dependencies. So uh, there it is, 375. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to head over to dependencies. I'm going to just paste it at the end right here. Uh, we're also going to use a, a Node.js server to host our application when it's running in Heroku. So uh, we're going to, at the root of our application, we're going to install the Express library, which is going to allow us to create a, a small server to host our application. So in the directory of our application, we're going to install Express. So let, that's going to take a, a little a little bit. So let it uh, go through its process. It's going to copy down the Express library, which will allow us to create a server. 
While that's going, uh, we're going to create a server file. So there's a server file. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to create a brand new server.js file at the root of the application. Let's we'll say new uh, JavaScript. So this is going to be server.js. We're going to add it to the Git repository. I'm going to paste the code in there. And we need to change a couple of things here. Uh, so we need to change the name of the application. We can find the name of the application in the package JSON. If you go at the top of the package JSON, you'll see name. And we're going to grab the name right here. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to head over to here. And I'm going to replace this my app with the actual name of the application. All right, so I think we're pretty much done. Uh, let's uh, see if we forgot any, any steps here. Okay, we do need to change the start command uh, so that um, when um, when Heroku deploys, right, it knows that it needs to start our brand new Node server. So let's copy that. So in the uh, we're going to change the start command that is already in our package JSON. We're going to change it so that it reads Node Server JS. So let's go into package. Uh, there's our start. There's our start. So I'm going to paste in there. Instead, it's going to run Node Node Server JS. See any other steps? Okay, so we're going to add everything that we did. I'm going to push it to our GitHub repository and push it then up to Heroku. So we'll say git add git commit and say uh, deploying to Heroku. All right, so that's um we, we we've committed everything. Let's make sure that we can we're going to push to the to the repository. Once we push it to the repository, we can head over to the Heroku server and we can deploy the branch, the master branch. So it's gonna take a, a little bit. We can look at the logs while that's working. You know, looking to see if there's any errors. Right, looks like it says that the uh, build has uh, succeeded. So now uh, going through some compression It's done, it looks like it's uh, launching. We can now click on the open button here. All right, there we have it. We have uh, the Angular project deployed. Notice that it's uh, identical to the version that we have running on our local machine, right? All right, there you have it, right? So we deployed the Angular application uh, to a Heroku instance. I'm going to include the uh, the code in uh, GitHub. I'm going to link it down below in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, and if you let, please let me know what you think about the um, about the video. If you like it, please please give a thumbs up. You know, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And you know, if, if you have any suggestions, um, any comments, please leave them down in the comments. All right, excellent. Thank you. Cheers.